Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at how the forecast is going for the mid-weekend hours. If you have any plans for traveling overnight, the good news is it's going to be well above freezing, no question about that. The bad news is if you are traveling, we've got some more liquid rainfall to worry about and the potential of maybe some fog in the Mid-South as we head into very early tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that. We'll take a look at some of our webcams and we'll take a look at our exclusive 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to the show. Hope everybody's had a great weekend so far. If you've got anything in the way of weather reports, we'd love to see them. Drop them into the comments section along with your location. Let's see where you're checking in from and what the weather's like out there. If you want to do some citizen science, amateur meteorology, that'd be great. And if you have any questions about anything, this is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Can't stick around for the whole forecast down in the blue section below you. Again, scrolling along from right to left. Got some forecast information for you. Social media information below that. Also, again, right here on these icons, you can catch our seven-day forecast available at this website, wreg.com slash weather. And I never can find out where... There it is. Hang on a second. Never can tell when the remote control will actually come in handy for things. Currently in the Mid-South, we've got some more scattered showers out there. We're going to be seeing some more scattered showers possible as we go into the rest of the evening. For the rest of tonight, more chances of rainfall out there. Winds will help to keep the temperatures up. It will be chilly, but we will be seeing again the possibility of some more of this drizzle out there. You can see that in the lights of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium on the Ole Miss campus for tonight. A few sprinkles around the area of the campus. A little bit of a wet roadway showing up from time to time, but otherwise not doing too bad out across the Mid-South for the chances of rain. We'll take a look at Storm Tracker 3S radar coming up here in just a little bit. Are we getting snow? A Karaklopak? Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, again, we'll show you more about the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Potential for that into the next couple of days, but more north of us than anything else. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Michelle Harper, thanks for joining us from Hernando tonight. Lexa, Arkansas. Betty Hughes Robertson, thank you very much for checking on through. Snowing in Henning. Okay, well that's interesting. From Vicki Kennedy, thank you very much for checking in there. Very light rain in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Susan Alderson Bailoff, hope I'm saying that correctly at this point in time. And Senatobia Tammy Wright, welcome to the show and welcome everybody as well. Current view, live view from I-240 in Poplar, getting some speckles of rain on the camera lens for this evening and going to be seeing more of that. Doesn't seem like a lot of spray being kicked up on the roadways very light precipitation and still very dry down toward the surface so probably not a lot out there but probably some more wet streets as we go into the rest of the evening. So something that we could, uh, again, make certain that you're going to be slowing down out there where it comes to rainfall potential. View from Germantown, the towers around Poplar and Mendenhall, Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway. The water tower is just north of Germantown High School. Decently hazy out there and more fog possible into overnight. Temperatures well above freezing, a little breezy at this time. Still pretty dry. You got a humidity of about 61% out there and more potential for, again, rainfall in the mid south into the overnight period of time. Again, fairly slick conditions out there where the rainfall is considered some wet parking lots around the area of West Memphis, Arkansas. I-55, I-40 traffic moving along, but a little slower, thanks in part to those scattered showers out across portions of the Mid-South area. And again, those temperatures well above freezing. Still good visibility right now from I-40 and Witten Road looking across the county, downtown Memphis on the horizon. You can still see the Hernando de Soto Bridge and most of the lights of downtown out there. So we are seeing, again, uh, fairly good right now, but more potential for fog into the overnight hours. So again, that's the main thing we're looking at for right now. Dan Diana Stacy. If I'm reading that correctly, two-point typeface and bifocals don't work well. 47 in Blytheville with light rain. Thank you very much uh, for the weather report there. Appreciate everybody else checking on in uh, for tonight. Johnny Edward Patton Jr. Snow in Mississippi. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, but don't get your hopes up is the short story on that one. And thanks to everybody else out there for checking on through for the area into later on tonight. Let me see. Anthony Floyd, time to boot Sanford. This is a weather blog. If you want to send along comments to the management, you can do so at news at wreg.com. But uh, no, it's not exactly the right place for those comments, but thank you very much on there. Rest of the area for tonight, again, more chances of rainfall into the Mid-South, again, throughout the rest of the evening. Scattered light showers taking place over Shelby County, and most of that's going to be fairly light to moderate amounts of showers. 
just beginning within about the last 90 minutes or so and going to be continuing to make its way back on over to the east at about 25 to 30 miles per hour and that's going to be about it for where we see chances of anything involving rainfall. We're just so far not looking at anything in the way of thunderstorms out across much of the area for right now. This is where we're going to continue to see the potential for most of the rainfall out there tonight and that's going to be continuing again into the mid-south into overnight and into around early Sunday morning. So we'll be expecting these chances of rain showers to be sticking around throughout the rest of the forecast tonight and into tomorrow. And that could also lend itself to some fog out across much of the Mid-South area. Desiree Monique, one vote for no snow. Jackson, Tennessee, Rosie Person, thanks for checking on through. Regina Bunnell, hope I'm saying that right. Don't miss Memphis weather, sand, sun, and palm trees. Okay, well, welcome to the beach. Glad everything's working out for you there. Atoka, Tennessee, Teresa Ann Doan, thanks for stopping on by. Dyersburg, Nancy Adkins, thank you very much. Christy Howell Johnson from Brighton, and Mary Jewell from South Fulton, Tennessee, thanks for sticking on through. Uh, Bernice Gant, no snow, please. Children must go to school. I'm not too sure the children agree with that, but uh, we'll talk more about what the forecast is going to look like coming up in just a little bit. And the chances of anything involving snowfall are not all that great, even less so than what we saw just about a week or so ago. Currently in the Mid-South, it's a little bit on the chilly side, mid to upper 30s to lower 40s into and around the area with some breezy winds occasionally, but more importantly, the winds are out of the south, east to the southwest, and that's going to help to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit. So we may drop a degree or two more, but there's probably not going to be too much more that we can do in the way of actual precipitation, turning to anything frozen. Now, several thousand feet up, a lot of what we're seeing out there is, in fact, probably snow, but it's too warm down toward the surface, so it's melting on its way down. So we're not going to be seeing too much in the way of snow down this direction of the point in time. Uh, Sue Johnson out east. Could you be a little bit more specific on that? Uh, east coast, anywhere in that area or somewhere else? Uh, snow in Cordova, Austin Rainwater. Thank you very much. Cheryl Word Thomas from South Haven. Thank you very much for checking in. Barbara Battaglia. Hope I'm saying that correctly in Bartlett. Thank you very much. Road trip tomorrow east then to Kentucky. Okay, cool. Well, a little bit more rainfall. You're going to be chasing a lot of that stuff out that general direction. Here's what it looks like into tonight around midnight. Again, temperatures too warm for anything but rain, and this is where we should see the heaviest rainfall potential overnight. Scattered chances of showers, moderate in intensity, maybe briefly heavy for a little bit, but that potential is going to go by very quickly. By the time we hit around News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning, most of the rain should be over the Tennessee River Valley and going eastward, and then also again back over into Middle Tennessee, parts of southern Kentucky, and areas of northern Alabama will be picking up the heaviest stuff by the time we're on with News Channel 3 daybreak. Now, by late in the morning, looks like, again, through about News Channel 3 live in, or through about uh, CBS Sunday morning, face the nation, dwindling chances of rainfall. And basically, by lunchtime, the rain chances are going to be all over with. It'll be a bit on the chilly side back in the mid to upper 40s around lunchtime. And high temperatures tomorrow, again, back in the mid to upper 40s to the lower 50s, right about where they were today. Maybe a degree or two warmer than today, but really just not really looking at too much out there for the evening hours, so not that much expected at this point. Now, dry into very early Monday morning, and about the time the kids are getting back to school and you're heading back to work on Monday morning when Todd Demers is on the air with his forecast, it's going to be pretty brisk out there. Wind will switch to the northeast, and we'll see some drier, colder conditions in here, lower to mid-20s across much of the area, so a brisk start to the week but a very big warm-up coming our way and the potential of maybe some stronger weather in the Mid-South as we go toward Monday night and into around Tuesday. Got a lot to talk about on that. Now, the threat for severe weather at this time as we get into around Monday is going to be starting out to the west and then moving our direction as we go toward Monday evening. Now, so far... This is not a threat for severe weather. This just indicates the potential of generic thunderstorms. There is no severe weather threat at this time, but with this forecast several days out already being issued from the Mid-South, this is kind of a heads up to get you into, again, a notice that there could be, again, the potential for some more problems into the area where it comes to stronger weather coming up on Monday evening. Now, so far, again, no severe weather, but this is something we will be keeping our eyes on as should you if you have any travel plans or anything else time to get ready for severe weather and make certain you know what needs to be done ahead of time just to be on the safe side there now overnight tonight 
into very early tomorrow morning should be just enough moisture in the atmosphere to possibly drop the numbers by quite a bit into around daybreak tomorrow. So doubtful we're going to see too much in the way of sunrise tomorrow coming to clouds and rainfall, but also enough moisture out there to give us visibilities along and somewhere south of half a mile. So if you're going to be doing anything outdoors in the way of travel tomorrow, you're going to have wet roadways, low visibility, definitely in the morning to make certain you have enough time to get ready and to get going to where you're heading out. So an extra 15, 30 minutes to wherever you're going tomorrow would not be such a bad idea just to make certain you get there with enough time and not rushing on roadways that have these problems out there. All right, that's severe weather and we've talked about fog. Let's go ahead and get into the possibility of winter weather near the Mid-South. The next storm system coming on through as we get into around Tuesday into Wednesday. Again, the potential for possibility of snow in the white and purple shaded areas here. These areas that you see right through here, these particular contours, that's more the possibility of sleet and freezing rain. There's going to be the way this shapes up, there's going to be enough warm, moist air coming up to keep us in the possibility of just plain rain and maybe the potential of thunderstorms in the Mid-South down into around the News Channel 3 viewing area. But there's going to be a very sharp dividing line. It's going to be a strong storm system, but most of the cold air is going to go well to the north of us as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll have just enough instability down here to get rain and thunderstorms going north of that line from, say, around northeast Arkansas into and around areas of southwest Kentucky, southern parts of Illinois, and into around southeast Missouri. That's where we may see the potential of some snow, freezing rain, or sleet. Right now, it does not look like, and again, I emphasize it does not, look like this is going to be going into the Mid-South. Now, if you're watching this from, say, Dyersburg, the Boot Hill, Southeast Missouri, Northeast Arkansas, I would keep a very close eye on this because if that cold air sinks south enough, and notice those blue colors right there, that's where we may see some of that just kind of wander very close to the Mid-South area. So late Tuesday into early Wednesday, there is going to be that potential of maybe getting in some of that snow and ice north of you, and maybe some of that could wander just right around the northern parts of the viewing area up between Dyersburg and Jonesboro. I do not see this as a winter weather scenario for the rest of the Mid-South, but we have our own problems with that as we see that potential for stronger weather making its way into the area. Robert Lyles from Rossville, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. Jennifer Harris-Lewis from Brewston. Thanks for stopping on by. Cindy Powell-Kidder from Henderson, Tennessee. Thank you very much for stopping by. Janice Fletcher-Banks from South Memphis. Thank you very much. And Michelle Mosier, I hope I'm saying that right, from Friendship, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. So right now, Again, we're watching for severe weather. Doesn't look like anything definite for now. We're looking for fog. The biggest problem we have, I think, is going to be fog overnight more than anything else. This does not appear to be a threat for us anytime soon. But again, we'll be watching this to see what stacks up north of us. If you're planning on anybody heading south from, say, southern Missouri, southern Illinois, St. Louis, uh, Arnold, Herculaneum, Poplar Bluff, Cape Girardeau, anywhere in that area dropping through here, or you are heading up that direction, I'd keep a close eye on this to be on the safe side, and we'll keep you updated here on News Channel 3. Running the numbers into the rest of the day tomorrow, right about where we were today, maybe a degree or two warmer, some drizzle in the morning, mostly cloudy, clearing skies into Sunday night, and that's where we may see some pretty chilly numbers in the metro area and the rest of the Mid-South as we go into a true American weather holiday. In case you haven't got that scribbled on your calendar yet, we had furry fake forecast today a couple of days ago. Now, this one right here is, again, uh, the true weather holiday saluting all the meteorologists and climate scientists out there. It's National Weather Persons Day. Just in case you haven't written down that for right now, again, we try to be as helpful as possible here at News Channel 3 to help you out keeping track of important days throughout the rest of the year. Warming up on Tuesday. More chances of rain again. We're expecting thunderstorms late Monday into around early Tuesday. So this could be an overnight situation if we get anything in the way of severe weather, which right now doesn't look entirely too likely again. Rain chances stick around through most of the day on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, early showers giving us a bit of a break Thursday and Friday. And temperatures very near normal once again. Showers start to show up again on Saturday. Definitely chilly by next Saturday night as rain chances continue, but so far it doesn't look 
look like anything involving snow or ice here or thunderstorms of a severe nature either. And then after that, we dry out once again. Maybe some more scattered showers by Tuesday next, right before Valentine's Day. And hopefully that's not going to be a soggy mess getting out with your significant other someplace. Again, pretty sloppy out there. It kind of ruins the romantic mood for some parts of the area. But again, a little bit on the drizzly side, not doing too bad out across the Mid-South for now. And doesn't look like anything major, but we will be keeping our eyes on that into the next couple of days. Stay tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oli's 102.3. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there from Old Miss, the campus in Oxford, from Fred Style 88. Great picture of the super blue blood moon on the University of Memphis, camp Mississippi campus. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Fred, for sending that in. TN underscore weather. W, or WX from Southwest Carroll County. Very nice sunset showing up there from January 31st. And from popping over the pond, Memphis underscore Tom. Nice sunset on his way over to London Town. So thank you very much for a beautiful view from the British Isles. If you've got pictures you'd like to share, please send them along. All you have to do is tweet them to me, aonic underscore WREG3, aonic no underscore necessary on Instagram and my own Facebook page. Again, facebook.com slash austinonic WREG. Would love to have you along for the ride and definitely want to stop around and drop any pictures in there and we'll feature them on our newscast and on here on our weathercast when we have time to do so. So we'd love to be able to have you along for that. Coming up in just a little bit, in about 10 minutes, about 8.33 or so, I'll have more on my Facebook page and we'll also take a look at whether where the troops are, whether where American troops may be stationed in and around the rest of the world. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. And also we'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 with Mike Sadie in sports and Kristen Holloway with the day's news. And of course yours truly with more on the weather forecast as we go into the rest of the weekend. Questions, concerns, again, please email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And if you'd like to check out more about the forecast, all you have to do is go to this website, including the seven-day forecast available here at wreg.com slash weather. We'll be live at 10 o'clock, so stay tuned for more there. And I'll be back with Nina Harrelson coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining us tonight, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.